Hello, hope you're having a nice uh, Sunday and having a nice relaxed weekend after sorting out some IRL stuff. <laughs> uh, back with some Noita today. I'm not entirely sure how long I'll be able to stream today. Um, so I just felt like doing some Noita. It seems to be having a pretty good reception on the uh, YouTube channel actually. Um, so basic plan is just do what I normally do, get some good ones. Uh, hopefully not die, and then depending on IRL stuff, I may wrap it up, or we may try and continue into another day. 
But uh, yeah, let's head over to the game. <laughs> I haven't actually... Um... Oh, I need to reset my death counter. <laughs> Hold on, just give me a sec. Why, why you do this, Steam? There we go. But yeah, I haven't played a Brotator yet. That's uh, something I've got to do a bit more research on. But it, it looks somewhat interesting. But I, I, I think I just need to watch it a bit more. Right. Let's go. <laughs> Let's do... You know what? Let's do the daily run. There is a daily run mode in this where everyone starts on the same seed and it changes every day. Uh, so we'll have a look just in case uh, there's anything interesting here. And then you can play the same seed. Although it will switch in 24 hours. Let's have a look in there, see what we find. We've got bouncing bursts. That's okay. We start with the invisible potion. That's pretty good. You always have to kick the uh, minecart. There we go. A wand immediately. That's not bad. What's on this? A uh, magic missile. I have a use for this. A lot of items with random effects. So a skill is being good at synergizing and finding combos. Interesting. So I like the magic missile, because you can just go up to the mountain and you can do this. Then you can sit in this little hole. And then you can go up here. And you've got just enough uh, levitation juice to actually climb the mountain. Got a nice little sunset going on in the background. Then up here, there is an orb. So... The magic missile also blows up all this stuff. And I think just one more. There we go. Oh, there's the tablet. I'll grab the tablet as well, just in case I want to chuck it at some guys. Although it may have already rolled so far down, it may have despawned, so... <laughs> Maybe not. Yeah, it looks like it's despawned. <laughs> So there we go, we've already got one orb, 25 extra max health. Let's see what else we can find. Hello. I do like the bouncing burst, just because there's a lot of range, it's very fast. But it doesn't really do a lot of damage, which is okay down here, because the enemies have hardly any health. But uh, it's not very good for the higher up zones. Oi. Oi, stop it. Yeah, uh, that's one thing about this game. Items will despawn almost as soon as they leave the screen. So you have to be very careful if you're holding any items which, uh, which you're trying to do stuff with. Because if you drop them and they fall off screen, odds are they will despawn. Uh, which is, to be honest, why I haven't done the sun quest yet. Or a few other quests in the game, because... It involves a lot of fiddly spell casting around objects that can easily fall off screen. Oh, hello. Ooh. These guys will set themselves on fire. How very thoughtful of them. We're covered in oil, so let's not set ourselves on fire. Whoops. This potion is not very good at putting out fires. We need... Maybe I should replace it with water? Let's actually just go to the lava lake and grab the orb over there. And then we'll, uh... Then we'll, uh, replace that with water, I think. Because that's all I need the invisible potion for. Oh, yeah, the, the spitter bolts are really good. Because they do a lot of damage. Um, relative to the early game stuff. And they're, they're quite rapid fire, too. Hello? Let me out. <laughs> if you get stuck in the train and you literally can't move, what you want to do is you want to press all four of the arrow keys, and if you do it enough, it will make a little divot in the train, which you can use to escape. But it only works if you're actually trapped. 
There's a lot of enemies over here, actually. You know what? Let's actually just do this. <laughs> Bye. Uh, we also don't have a way of crossing the lava lake, so I guess we need uh, some water. <laughs> we'll just grab some water over here. We'll find another potion. We shouldn't have any problems with that. Yeah, the uh, the first noise to run with the uh, homing rocks actually did pretty well on YouTube so far. So I might... Well, if there's any good runs <laughs> that I get where something interesting happens, I'll keep putting those on uh, YouTube. I wouldn't be able to use it to get through here because I'm not trapped here. So that's unfortunate. I could just do that though. There we go. Don't cast it too close to yourself because it does a lot of uh, explosion damage. Oh, that's oil. Need another ocean bottle, really. Well, the, 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 all the oil is now on fire. Oh, hold on. No. <laughs> Stop it. Uh, I need a... Yeah. Got the toxic sludge off now. Quite low on health. There's more potions up here. Can I actually get over there? There we go. Oh, this uh, this layout is really peculiar. I don't want to bomb too close to it because it could just break the bottle. Got a broken wand. I guess I'll grab that for now. And uh, yeah, this acceleration potion will let me go over the uh, the lava lake threshold. So, hold on. Here you go. You can kick with the F key. It's very good for uh, again if you kill an enemy with physics instead of uh, yourself, um, or your own spells. It will uh, give you double gold. And there's a few perks that actually change that. There's a perk that doubles the amount of gold yet again to four times. And there's a perk that um, turns it into blood money, which heals you when you pick it up. So if you have a if you have the homing rocks, you get the, the blood healing or the money healing perk. Uh, that's really good. But obviously then you've got unlimited spells and, tr and uh, blood money. And... Uh, a wand with homing and a rock on it. So there's quite a few elements that need to come together for that to work. Ow. Okay, we're quite low on health. I would really like to not die in the mines today. Um, it's basically luck, because you're not guaranteed to find rocks. You're not guaranteed to get the right perks. I'd probably say about 1 in... 1 in 20 to 1 in 100, I don't know, somewhere in that sort of range. We got quite lucky. And to an extent, you can make your own luck in this game, but we did get quite lucky to just be able to do that. So we're going to use this potion to go fast. And that means because we're moving faster horizontally, we actually have enough juice to get over the lava lake. And if we really wanted, we could just we could just run past this threshold with the acceleration and miss the boss. Uh, but we'll we'll go invisible because I want to I want to use this up really. I'm gonna use up the invisibility and replace it with water. So we'll just leave it here. But yeah. Um, you can see I've got a little spells checklist, which are spells that I want to cast at some point. Um, and the only two spells that aren't quest related left that I have to cast are Summon Friendly Fly and Summon Fly Swarm. And the only... those spells 
do not spawn on ones that you can find in the environment. So you basically have to, uh, to put this one. You basically have to find them in shops. So it's not super likely. So we're going invisible over the water pit and down here, which means that the mini boss doesn't spawn. Very important that you're invisible. Or polymorphed into a sheep or some other critter. And then we'll just pour out some more of the speedy potion down here. You can drink it, but the effects are only temporary. Whereas if you've got a puddle, you can just submerge yourself and it lasts indefinitely. As long as that doesn't go below zero, we'll be fine. There we go. So, uh, we haven't really found a lot. We're very low on health. So we probably do actually need to go back and heal up. We have water now, so we can go in here. I think if I go below like 25, we'll just go back and heal. But I'd rather not until we find a bit more stuff. I have taken a lot of damage today. Don't touch the toxic rock. It's bad for you. Ah, oh, this isn't going to work. Why am I even bothering with this? We can go underneath. So 100% completion takes forever. It, it takes a while to find everything that you need. Because... A lot of the spells that you need to cast do spawn on ones, but some of them you will only find in shops, and they are random when they're in shops. Oh my god. Got ambushed. It takes a while. And also, just very quickly, if we go in the progress. So, there's perks you could take. These you'll find in the, sh in the Holy Mountains. And again, it's a random selection. But you'll if you play enough games, you'll eventually find them all. The enemies, some of the enemies are in very specific parts of the map, and some of them are very rare. Like, there's one actually here. For some reason, the game thinks I found it, but it's not showing up on the menu. It's a heart mimic. It's an enemy that looks like a, a heart that you collect. <laughs> and um, it, it it's not a heart. It's an enemy, and it will chomp you for, like, 50 damage if you go near it. But they're absurdly rare. So it can take a while to find all the enemies, and you have to know specifically where to find some of them. So we'll look around here a little bit longer. I probably shouldn't be getting within melee range of all these guys, because they actually do a lot of melee damage if they actually hit you. Oh, okay, hold on. What have I got here? TNT. This guy is bad news. Actually, hold on. Come over here. Come over here. There you go. There is... Well, at the moment... Oh, come on. At the moment, we're doing the daily run. So everyone has access to the same seed. So you could play the daily run now and you'd have the same seed. Uh, there is a mod that lets you input seeds, but you can't get achievements with a modded version of the game. Sag. Yeah. So that's why I thought I'd play the daily today, because at least this way, if someone's watching and they want to try out the same map, they can. And to be honest, I don't play this game enough. I'm not playing more than one run per day, so it works out quite well. Oh, hold on. Oh, okay. This is <laughs> a bit sketchy. There's a pedestal there. So someone's clearly had a wand. But they've bugged off. There's an extra heart. It's pretty good. Also, something else that's a bit interesting is you take damage from toxic, uh, toxic sludge. But it doesn't actually, uh, kill you. It will get you to, like, 6% of your HP or something, and then it will stop damaging you. But obviously at that point you're very vulnerable to anything else. 
Uh, looks like there's a lot of acid damage here. That's not good. I'm going to keep looking for a little bit longer. Oh, he's got the wand. What's what's on here? Uh, slime balls. Not very good. But the wand is slightly better than the one we have at the moment. There's another wand over here. There's a skull. Oh boy, I'm being ambushed. Ow. Okay. Okay, look. <laughs> I'm down. I'm very low on health. I should get going. I mean, if I'm gonna die, I might as well die early, but that's not exactly... <laughs> It's not exactly great. Uh, we got discs. This is a better one than this one. Uh, I think I'll just take this and go. We, we did get some extra health, so that's not too bad. We do not have any tools to leave the shop intact, so I'll have to be a bit careful about that. We do have enough money for a wand. Egg. Replica, Fireball, Orbit, Plasma, Chain Bolts. Hmm. I wonder what we're going to do with all that. Gas Fire. Gas is near with Night automatically. You gain double the gold per nugget. That seems decent. Uh, kills to mana. Every time an enemy near you dies, you're, you release mana recharging liquid, so... Concentrated mana, your one will recharge faster. I think we do something with the plasma or the triplicate bolts. So we need. I don't think we shuffle. I don't think we shuffle the perks. I think we just take. Probably just greed. Double gold seems pretty good. I think these two are quite situational. There's no tools to leave stealthily. I mean, we could cut a hole through with the plasma. But at this stage, I think I would honestly prefer just to have the triplicate bolts and just put them on this one. Yeah, I think I'd just do that. We'll probably find some better plasma later. So this is a little more power. And then I'll just put the... Just put the magic missiles on here. I think I prefer the magic missiles to the TNTs. And I think that's it. Pretty... Pretty lackluster shop, but um, it is what it is. We don't have enough gold to buy this one. Chain bolt is really good. It's like a sort of uh, lightning bolt that homes between enemies. It doesn't do a huge amount of damage, but it's pretty good for the coal pits. But uh, yeah, we're just going to go. Uh, we are going to have to leave the normal way, which will break the shop. So we won't be able to edit one ones in here again. You've got to watch out for the ceiling collapsing as well, because the physics damage will hurt you. Probably kill you. And it also leaves some red particles around for a little while. And they they curse you with curse damage if you then go around the area. So you don't really want to leave the shop like this unless you don't have any better alternatives. Also, what a scumbag, <laughs> what a scumbag hit of toxic sludge there. What's this? Ow. Hey. Right, let's just go. We're gonna go to the fungal area and have a look. Because we need some better stuff than this, really. Let's get rid of these. Oh, there's the enemies. 
Yeah, shotgun's pretty good. Shotgun's pretty good. The one is decent this area of the game. Oh, there's a sludge. Probably screen. There we go, not too bad. The other thing is the triplicate shot with the shotgun is pretty good at digging through soft material. So we can actually go in here and grab this gold and stuff if we really want to. Just a little gold powder. But I'm not going to do lots of that because uh, that would take a long time. Magic Missile is also pretty good for that, but that's uh, limited charge, so not a huge fan of that. I'm just going to try and find another normal way in. We're really gonna have to go all the way over the top. It's fine. Ooh, a wand. I'll grab this, because this is just right here. Uh, that's not very useful. Crap. Let's just keep digging through here. I want to go left. Let me in. Come on. Okay. There's a treasure chest. Now, when you see a treasure chest underwater, don't always go and grab it. Because one of the items that can spawn in a treasure chest is a lightning stone. And that will immediately electrocute the water and kill you. So, I'm just going to shoot it. Okay, it's just gold. That is a big gold nugget. <laughs> that is so much gold. Yeah, this game loves to kill you in very stupid ways. But the greed perk paying off. Well, let's, uh... Yeah, that worked. There's another chest. It's interesting. I wonder if it's actually a chest or whether it's a mimic. It is a chest. Oh, a spell refresher. I don't need a spell refresher. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to magic missile the shit out of this area and then I'll take the spell refresher. It's probably faster than, than just repeatedly shotgunning the area. There's a decent amount of gold here. Can I actually break through here? I think I can. Let's confirm that. God, this one is really slow. It's because the spell takes up so much mana. Well, we're slowly getting through there. Hi. Nice. There we go. Recharge our spells. It's just the same item you find in the shop. Also, being wet, when you when you touch fire when you're wet, it just makes your wetness go down. And when your wetness hits zero, you set on fire. So if you've got the water stain, you aren't going to take fire damage until that water stain is removed. Ooh, a heart. I should have just gone that way. <laughs> that would have uh, been nice to spot. Gunpowder here. God, I hate those enemies. Because they spawn so much lava. Also, when the lava hits toxic uh, sludge, you get toxic gas. And that does damage you for going through it. So you've got to be careful with that. Ooh, hello. You've got a wand. You're on fire. I'm on fire. 
death crosses this spell is really weird for enemies it shoots as a projectile where it goes where they want but for me it stays perfectly still and then occasionally homes on enemies so i don't usually use this but it does a lot of damage the only thing is it takes a while to sort of explode as well so you've got to be a little bit careful but i'm not gonna bother with that it's a shuffle wand as well i don't like shuffle ones Shuffle ones are better stats, but you can't pick the the spell pick uh, the one picks spells in a random order, so uh, it's not very practical if you're trying to make a, a one do a specific thing. Hello. Ooh, some interesting stuff down there. You're an acid guy. I dislike acid guys. Stop blinking at me. There you go. Well, we're at the fungal area. Let's not submerge ourselves in acid. That would be a bad idea. Uh, bomb one. This is pretty bad. We don't need this. Got some flummoxium over here. It's a potion that makes you uh, move. It inverts your controls, which is not very handy. You know what? Oh, crap. Especially when you submerge and unsubmerge yourself in it. Hmm. What was on that wand? Ow. No! I got hit by the swapper guy. He's going to teleport me everywhere. <laughs> okay. We're okay. Oh, god damn it. Not again. The enemies over by the fungal area are more dangerous, but... Uh, the loot is better, and we kind of need the good loot, so I'm willing uh, to put up with it. He's hitting himself with his own uh, teleporting projectiles. Maybe. Right, what's on this one? Bubble Sparks? This is a pretty good one stats-wise. I'm going to take it over this one. Just a stealth enemy that's not too dangerous. Provided there aren't any other enemies nearby. You can kind of see the invisible enemies when the stealth guy makes them invisible, but you've got to really be paying attention. Right, let's kick this over here. Some berserkian. Oh, oh shit. Ah, no! Get off me! <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. We'll grab the gold. We've got a fairly decent amount of health. Oh god. It's probably not gonna last very long at this rate. <laughs> I hate the teleporter guys. Let's just shoot these preemptively. No, not like that. Bye. We're looking for better ones. We do have plenty of uh, gold. So we can just hope that there's a good shop, but we don't have any tools to break out of shops. So it's a bit risky to go too low in case we can't beat the lower areas. Also, one thing about the fungal zone is that it's always humid. I think so a lot of projectiles move slower in it than normal like you see the shotgun pellets just kind of spread out in a weird way get out of here so if you're using a projectile where the speed is very important be careful about coming in here well more careful than usual right always cast heavy spread that doesn't seem very useful Egg. Let's keep looking. There's potions in here. We need these potions. This is all flammable gas. So we're going to have to be a little bit careful about going in here. I don't think it actually destroys the potions. Let's see. No. It leaves the potions intact. So we want this one. 
Because that one gives us invincibility. That's slime. That is... Hold on. Get out of here. <laughs> you get to eat several uh, shotgun blasts. Thankfully this guy is pretty easily stunned. Slimy. Anything else in here? Gunpowder? I don't think we really need this. Right. So we have Ambrosia. We're in the fungal zone. So you can shift materials from one type to another in the fungal zone by eating the fungus. So I'm going to have a look at the Noita tools for this seed. Which you can see in the bottom left. And I'm going to see what I can shift this Ambrosia into. Because that could completely break open the run. So our seed is three, one, two, four, nine, four, two, six, nine. So we can shift. Will random stuff get shift? It will, but we can tell what's going to shift with this website because it's all determined by the seed. So the first shift is flammable gas to rock which doesn't seem very good. But some shifts will let you influence it with the flask that you're holding. So because we have Ambrosia, we can potentially influence a shift to involve Ambrosia. But in this case, it's going to shift Ambrosia to rock. Um, then the next shift is silver, brass and copper to water, which isn't very useful, or flask to water. So we could use that to get rid of something dangerous and turn it into water. And then the third shift is water to lava, which obviously isn't very good, but we can shift um, the, the lava can be influenced by the flask. So then we can shift water into ambrosia, which is the invincibility potion. So <laughs> I think that's what I'm going to do. The only thing is, it's gonna by doing this, it's going to turn stuff into rock. So let's have a look. Let's figure out how we're going to do this. So I think what we'll do, let's get rid of the broken one. I don't think we're going to need this. We'll just chuck that over here for now. Where it's not going to hurt anyone. What's on this one? Yeah, that's not very good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn... I'm going to turn gunpowder into rock. I'm going to hold the flask. Now the problem is, when you eat the fungus, you vomit a lot if you eat too much of it. Or if you eat enough of it to... Uh, trigger the fungal shift. So if you're doing this, you always want a full potion so you don't accidentally vomit into it and turn whatever you're trying to turn into something into vomit. Uh, so we're going to eat a little bit off the floor with a down arrow. You can see you've got a timer going up. Feel harmony with the magical forces. You've got to get this timer, this tripping timer, up to 180 seconds by consuming fungus. And be careful because you might find some stuff on the floor that you don't want to eat. Uh, you don't want to eat your own vomit too much, either. Right, uh, so that is enough of that. The potion is full. And if you hit this threshold, <laughs> obviously you're tripping a lot, so it's very difficult to see what you're doing. But, uh, if you do it correctly, this will happen, you'll see the eyes, and it will tell you a clue about what has shifted. And then the effect will slowly go away. So, it said... You feel, you, you feel the colours uh, shifting or whatnot. Something involving gunpowder. And now we look at our gunpowder potion and it's now a rock potion. So we have a potion full of rock. I'm not 100% sure how that works. Let, let's actually test it. So if I pour it out, it just it just comes out as a liquid and then it solidifies as rock on the, uh, on the floor. Okay. And you can do this as a chain as well. So the next shift is... Let me just check what the next shift is again. Um, I'm just going to leave it running because you have to wait like... Uh, you have to wait five minutes in game time uh, unpaused between shifts. The next shift is metal to water, but it could also be flask. Do I want to shift rock to water? Is that wise? <laughs> I, I'm not sure that... I'm not sure that's wise. Bit hard for the meantime. Yes, there is a heart. We'll, we'll grab that. 
Easy clap. So we'll explore this area a bit more. I could shift uh, slime to water. That seems worthwhile. So I guess we'll drop our water potion. Uh, I'll just drop it down here. I don't really mind what that does. <laughs> Let's get hard. <laughs> that reminds me of that, um, what, what is it? That Will Ferrell movie? I think that's called Get Hard. I mean, it's like it's like Will Ferrell goes to jail or something. I don't know. Um, come on, let me through. I could probably just do this. There we go. Grab the slime potion. This one's full, so this is what we'll shift next. We'll turn all the slime into water because slime is annoying and it slows you down. And a lot of enemies bleed slime, so turning it into water will make the game easier. And this is fun because I didn't do any uh, fungal shifts last time. So this time we're going to do quite a few. The fourth shift, just un uh, for this seed, just undoes the uh, third shift. So I think we'll just stick to the three shifts and that will do. Hmm. And a rune stone. So this rune stone... If you chuck it somewhere, it's an object. If you chuck it somewhere, it will emit a pulse. And that will turn any projectiles that are caught in it into, like, ninja shurikens. So, uh, that could be a bit, could be a bit odd. I don't think I'm going to bother with this. Let's, uh, actually, if I kick it, I think it does the same thing. Yeah, there we go. So that will turn any projectiles caught in its radius into discs. So now it will shoot... Now my shotgun will shoot discs, and the enemy will shoot discs. So that way, he's not going to accidentally poison us, which is uh, handy. And then I can kick it again, and I'll turn it off. You just find these randomly or in chests. They're quite rare. I don't think there's any way of reliably getting the rune stones. Uh, broken wonders there. I don't want that. We'll keep exploring for a little bit, but I'm mostly just interested in shifting. We've got teleportatium. <laughs> we could turn slime into teleportatium. That seems risky. Uh, let's, let's get rid of the rock potion. I don't think I'm going to use this. We're going to use this for the uh, hourglass, like in the last run. And you'll see more of that in a bit. Well, I haven't been timing it. I feel like five minutes have passed. The potion is full, so we'll hold the slime potion. It's very, very risky, by the way, to do this without the tool that tells you what shifts into what, because you could shift, like... Oh, whoops. Hold on. You could shift uh, water into lava or something, or blood into lava, and then every time you bleed, you cover yourself in lava, uh, which is obviously not good. Uh, there are some absolutely disastrous shifts that can happen in the game. I'll tell you uh, in a minute. So we're going to trip out. We're going to throw up. Because the one eye has appeared, it's not quite time yet. So uh, <laughs> we're going to need to eat some more fungus and wait wait it out. But when we uh, when we reach the when we reach the time threshold, we'll be okay. The only thing is, there are some enemies in the area. You'll know when it works because the text will come up, it'll play a special jingle. I was just a bit impatient, really. I don't really want to... There we... Oh, I wasn't holding the... Ah, uh, I wasn't holding the potion. So now we've shifted copper into water instead of slime. Which is fine, because there's not a lot of copper in the game, to be honest. But it's the third one that I really want to do, which is water to ambrosia. So we'll do that in five minutes. Make sure we're holding the ambrosia flask this time. Make sure that I actually wait properly. And then that should break the run open. It's all right. We were just, uh, we were just, uh, tactically wasting time. <laughs> uh, so five more minutes, then we can do the next one. Let's go up here. I was I was concerned because there was an enemy nearby and I thought he was going to come get me while I was I was tripping balls. Vulnerable. I, 
think I've got enough of these magic missiles to dig through here. But yeah, the fungus, when it's on the floor, it will grow slowly over time. So you're not usually going to run out of fungus, provided you don't set it on fire. Oh, hold on, hold on, get out of here, get out of here. That's a rare enemy that chucks random potions at you. I'm not interested in that today. Oh, that's another enemy. That robot guy fires a lot of bullets at you very fast. He is very dangerous. So I'm kind of glad he just fell down the hole. We're not going to go back that way. Hopefully he shoots the other guy. Acid potion? Where's the acid potion? It's in there. I could ship water to acid. That sounds productive. I do not want to... I think I'm going to break this preemptively just so that I don't accidentally break it. Oh god. Yeah, don't come any closer. Stay away. Don't cover yourself in acid. Okay. Grab the gold. Then we'll shoot the acid potion. If we can aim. There we go. Let's not worry about random acid. Oh, there's a Robocop. Crap. Let's leave him. air is a little bit dangerous. Kick it this way. There you go. There's a one up there. There's a Kiva Skivy down there, which is a fire stone. It's a stone that you can hold and it sets things on fire. It makes you immune to fire while you're holding it. Oh, another Robocop. There's loads of those Robocops in, in this area of the map. Hmm. Well, I don't want to eat any of the fungus until I'm absolutely sure it's safe. So we are literally just going to wait it out for five minutes. Apologies. More potions up here. We're just doing some ones. I don't need potions. There we go. Ooh. Pouch. Hello. Hello Raiders, um, it's me, Aresia Smogan, uh, Aresia Gaming. <laughs> we're playing some Noiter today, hope you've had a fun time. Uh, we're just waiting to do a fungal shift at the moment. Um, How did your game go? Barcode Synthex. I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to win. I'm also trying to build a million damage one because I haven't got that achievement yet. But mostly I'm just trying to wait for five minutes at the moment. <laughs> Hello, hello, uh, ASD. <laughs> Synthex raid. I'm I'm normally playing a lot of oxygen not included, but I do play uh I do play uh roguelikes occasionally, and Noiter is a game that I have a lot of hours in, so you'll probably see me play Noiter. There's a fungus pouch up there. I want to grab the fungus pouch. We didn't do anything with the slime potion, so let's just uh chuck this down here. Let's just ignore that, and then. Shoot the guy. Easy. Hello, Link de Mayo. Linko, Linko de Mayo. That's a, that a cool name. Right, we've got Levitatium. Actually, I've got Acceleration as well. I could probably mix it all together. Right, let's do the Fungal Shift. I think we've waited five minutes. And we got rid of a lot of enemies in the area, so let's just do this. So, Full Ambrosia Flask. We we did use our tool, uh, which you can find here, to check seed information. About to go to sleep. Yeah, fair enough. It's about uh, it's about half four here, so uh, we're going to be going for a while. We're just going to eat the fungus, and I ate something that maybe take damage. Then there we go. That should be enough. We're holding the potion. 
We're okay. <laughs> There's some funny uh, emotes we got there. Nuka Quantum Addict. <laughs> right, so, Ambrosia. We've shifted Ambrosia. I believe we've shifted water to Ambrosia. Uh, let's go find out. Uh, it should be fairly obvious if we have. Oh, there's a wand in there. Yeah, look. There it is. There's a lot of ambrosia. And the enemy has ambrosia and I don't, so that's not very good. Uh, <laughs> but we did it. So uh, that should be interesting. Oh my god. So now there's a lot of invincible enemies around here. I need to actually... Uh, I need a spell that turns water into ambrosia. That's what I need. No, I need a spell that summons water. Oh no! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Right, okay. <laughs> Let's just get out of here. <laughs> We've overstayed our welcome. Let's go. Let's get out of here. We can stay ourselves as much as we want, because there will be ambrosia waiting for us. Oh no, there's so many enemies. Let's just let's just get out of here. Okay. A decent amount of ambrosia. <laughs> let's just go. Okay. We're fine. Uh, let's just get in the pool, everyone else. Oh, this is crazy. <laughs> Very funny and half did it on it, so. Nice. What's this wand? I don't think uh, I don't think we're interested in this. This is double spells. We're not using the the bouncing balls anymore, so I think we're fine. Let's just uh, take that. We'll let you guys just uh, crack on with whatever you're doing. Can I go down? I can go down with the shotgun. I just go down with the shotgun. <laughs> We're just gonna do this very, very slowly. Because I'm on low health and I don't really want to die. <laughs> We're kind of currently drowning, but it's fine. We we did it. We shifted water to a brochure. <laughs> uh, so now everyone is invincible. And I'm not sure how useful this is going to be, but it also means I can't drown. I'm currently not taking any drowning damage. Oh, oh. There's too many... There's too many enemies down here. Let's just go. <laughs> right, hopefully there are some tools that we can use to uh, uh, leave the Holy Mountain. We've got a teleport bolt. That will do. So we have loads of money because we've got the greed perk. Let's see. Teleport bolt, yes. Uh, reduce recharge time, yes. Energy orb with trigger, sounds good. There's a very good use for it if you know about certain stones in a game. Well, I do. Yes, there is a water stone, and that will turn water. That will just produce water around me and turn it into ambrosia. So I should probably go find that at some point. Take the energy orb as well. I'll take the lightning bolt. We haven't summoned Steve yet, so that's fine. No more shuffle. I do like this perk. Um, however, we have so much gold, I want to check the uh, seed. I want to check the seed and see what perks we'll get if we re-roll. So again, I'll just... Here is the tool in case anyone's interested. I'm actually playing the daily run, uh, so <laughs> uh, you can come join on this same seed if you want. Shifting water to Ambrosia is possible. So let's see what the perks are. So, looks like we can get phasing glass cannon. <laughs> I'm not sure I want glass cannon. Uh, Tox community, perk lottery. It doesn't look like there's anything super good re-rolling. So we'll just take the perk that we've got at the moment. Get the stain of whatever water is without being wet or having the effect wash off. Oh, I see. Oh, that's interesting. I think we're just going to take no shuffle so that our ones that we find around the map are just better in general. That sounds good. So then, let's see. So now this is a non-shuffle, so this is a pretty good wand. Poison arc. Not really sure I want this. Double spells, yes. I think we just want to put the, the triplicate bolts on here. This one has the lowest recharge time. We can further reduce that with reduce recharge. Well, actually, maybe that's better off on this one, because this one does more mana charge speed. Let's have a look. 
How does this go? So that's pretty good, but it runs out of mana pretty quickly. Hmm. And then we want to keep the energy orbs uh, for digging. So I think we'll just do this. Because these orbs dig through soft terrain really easily. So that'll be handy for that. We'll keep that as our damage wand. This is our regular wand. We'll need a teleport wand, uh, wand as well. So I think just teleport bolt on here seems okay. Let's just put it on here. This, this bomb wand is really bad. I should get rid of that as soon as I can. Um, okay. And we'll just keep the rest of the spells for later. I think that's fine. Uh, I'll take the spell recharge just so we got more magic missiles in case we need them. And I think that will do. I, th I think I'd rather have the shotguns here rather than use the energy orb to trigger them because the energy orbs are quite slow. So I think we'll just leave it like that. Yeah, okay. So, let's drop this. I'm going to leave a little pool of Ambrosia here just in case we need it. And I'll go refill this. We left the Broken Wonder <laughs> up top. I think what we're going to do is we're probably going to go um, through the Snowy Chasm and then loop back around up top. Once we get some Snowy Chasm ones, we can put a Lightning Bolt in there and we can probably deal with the Alchemist. Or we can at least try. Okay. So, to break out of the Holy Mountain, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here, I'm going to shoot the Teleport Bolt, and then I skip the Threshold, which is here, for triggering a Collapse. So that means we can come back here and edit ones later. <laughs> I'm glad that's a pool of uh, Ambrosia. Lots of ones here, that's good. What have we got? We've got Bubble Sparks, we've got uh, Red Glimmer. Those are pretty useful. I would really like a way of digging through the Holy Mountain, because it feels a bit safer than teleporting through it. Uh, so, what's here? This isn't particularly helpful. These bubble sparks seem like they'd be really good on a damage wand. This wand itself isn't great. I must remember that I actually do have energy orbs. And also that most enemies are going to end up invulnerable to damage and that I need to position myself in the Ambrosia because I always forget to do that. We're just going to follow the uh, waterfall. Oh, now you're... Uh... Oh, there you go. <laughs> we need we need some kind of spell that summons water. That's what we actually need. Uh, monk. Let's kill these guys. If you find a hand like that, you can kick it, and it summons a monk, and then he drops some gold. Yeah, this, all these pools of Ambrosia here are going to make this area a lot easier to navigate. Although, the Toxic Sludge is no longer turning into uh, water, so we're going to have to be a bit careful with that. Let's have a look. Oh, this is so weird. I think I've done this like I've done this a couple of times before. I did it one run where I had a um, water trail on my wand. That's really what I'm looking for. Oh, hold on. There we go. Die. We're okay. We're okay. Just submerge ourselves again. We'll go through there. 
Ooh, this is a good one. So, reduce recharge and extra drill bolts. Yeah. Is that better than... Well, it is better than this. Yeah, this just runs constantly. It's pretty good. <laughs> we have become the mole. It does run out of mana a bit, though. Well, that's a mana wand, but it doesn't have very much uh, capacity. Let's just keep looking. We can't actually drown. I still think even with it running out of mana, this is faster than our previous digging wand. What's up here? Some kind of enemy. Ah. Uh, you are you appear to be trapped in the terrain, good sir. Uh we got speed up. Uh that's not super useful. One's not bad, it's not great. I don't think we can get out of here. Just let him get on with it. Oh hold on. Let's uh do the usual thing. Now we can just uh oh why am I why am I toxic? Okay, hold on. Oh no. <laughs> this is bad. Let's get out of here. There's a few too many guys. Right, yeah, you guys will blow yourselves up. Unfortunately, that guy isn't going to uh, corrode in the toxic sludge. Oh, you got me from really far away. Those guys are always surprisingly uh, accurate. We'll just keep going over to the right, I think. Okay, we're over here now. Let's see. Shoot the rat. Go up here. What else we can find? Uh, Ambrosia. Just a little bit. There we go. More blood. Well, so far this has been markedly less uh, crazy than I thought it would be. But it should hopefully get crazy again once we find a, a water-related spell. I'm really trying to make sure that the enemies don't get caught in the uh, <laughs> caught in the ambrosia. Because this is not going to be a good time for anyone. So we do still have the teleport bolt. We can't dig through the extremely dense rock. What do I want to do? We shouldn't tr I don't think we can grab that orb. We can go try and beat the pyramid boss. I mean, we don't have very much stuff for it. Kind of just want to go back to the mine shop and do some editing quickly. <laughs> we left our... Uh, left our acceleration here, so we'll just uh, do this. Living dangerous thing. We can look around the uh, collapsed mines a bit more because we were really low on health earlier here. And out now there is obviously a lot of uh, ambrosia. Oh. Yeah, we still shouldn't be going through here. <laughs> Let's refill this. We do have a lightning bolt, so we could probably go and kill the alchemist with ambrosia and lightning bolt. But we don't actually have anything decent to put on the uh, the spe on the uh, the uh, infinite cast things yet. We don't have any black holes. I don't think we have anything super interesting for that. Like uh, we have magic missiles, we have TNT. Also, it's confusing that my energy orb wand and the teleport bolt wand are the same, <laughs> the same sprite. So. Uh, 
I'll go over here. No, stop it. Actually, now that I think about it, do I have light? I could probably just go in the dark cave. Grab that extra health. I could probably do that without light. Oh, oh my god. Oh no, oh no, no. <laughs> that was not the right button. <laughs> that was not the right thing to do. Almost uh, suddenly got acided to death. I don't think Ambrosia helps very much with acid. You're on fire now. Hello. <laughs> uh, never get overconfident. We'll just go up here. We got plenty of gold. Hello. Oh. There we go. Let me out. Yeah, so we saw earlier on with the perk uh, re-rolling that uh, toxic immunity is a thing. Considering there's no water in the game anymore, it's probably worth doing at some point. One up there, let's go have a look. Well, let me through. Right, there we go. Yeah, and here we are. The entrance to the dark cape. Fire guy is probably also a little bit dangerous, but we do have a big pool of ambrosia right here. So, that's nice. He also appears to be stuck. Okay. Let's see, this should be good enough. There you go. Good night. Some bridge ourselves, put out the fire, no big deal. Well, that wasn't very interesting. I don't know why I expected it to be interesting. It's gonna be really annoying going through here without um without light, but we could do it. I think I might just save it for later. Yeah, let's just go back to the shop for now. It's a blood from something, apparently. Right, here we go. Oh, we broke this shop. We have to go in the next one. Okay, that's fine. Oh, we have plasma. We want plasma. Yes. I think this wand is overall better than this one. I think I, yeah, I think I take the plasma and then we can probably use that to deal with that boss. Let me just tunnel through here. Loads of embrosion here, it's still a bit dangerous. Let's go back to the, uh, shop that we can actually edit in we could just dig through here and get a load of gold but that'd be pretty boring right yes yeah, so we've got a few more things now the plasma is definitely something we want. We don't want these discs. These could hurt you as well when you cast them, so they're pretty risky.
We do need something with a trigger. And then we can really make the most use out of these things. But I think what I can actually do is I can just do... Instead of using Reduce Recharge, we can use the uh, Digging Bolts to achieve the same thing. And just multicast them with the triplicates. Uh, so... That should cast four spells. And include these. Because this takes a lot of mana and these ones don't take any mana. So now we can just fire this one like this. Now it's just past delay. Hmm. What if I do this? No, that doesn't really help. What about this? Yeah, and that runs out of mana again. I mean, that double casts a shotgun and it doesn't really run out of mana, so I think we do that for now. Oh, there's reduced spread. We could use that as well, probably. Well, recharge time isn't a constraint, so we can probably take one of these off. Put reduced spread on. Yeah, there we go. So now it's just firing all six pellets at once. That's pretty good. <laughs> I could put poison art between them, but that wouldn't be very, uh... Okay, it's cool. And this should dig through uh, terrain as well. So we can just keep that. Uh, this one's pretty bad. Well, let's still shuffle. We picked up the no more shuffle thing, but I guess it didn't apply for this one. So we'll leave that. Yeah, this one isn't very good. Go back down, find some more ones. I don't really have any way of dealing with Steve. We could do the statue kick. Maybe we just do the statue kick and tell him through here. We do have the Ambrosia after all. Let's try it. Okay. Let's just get the statue up here. <laughs> this is not exactly what I intended. Almost. Okay. That. No. <laughs> Yes, that will do. Uh, so I'll ambrosia here a little bit because obviously we're not running out of this. And then what I'll do is I'll use the plasma cutters to cut through terrain. And then when Steve spawns, we'll kick the statue up and hopefully kill him. And if not, we'll just shoot him with our wand in the ambrosia. So let's just do this. And then let's kick the statue. Like, I kicked it too early. Okay. This is fine. We can just shoot him in the ambrosia and we should mostly be okay. This is not doing as much damage as I thought it would. But uh, it is getting through the shield pretty easily. If we stand still, the ambrosia isn't wearing off. So we're fine. I kick the statue way too early. But if you kick it at the right time, it will do a lot of physics damage and just uh, kill him. There we go. Let me through. Give me the gold. So now we can just tunnel through these places instead of uh, teleporting through. <laughs> no. I just need to make sure I don't accidentally walk into these. Yeah, that should be pretty good. Okay. We'll put the uh, teleport back on. But at least now we can just wander through here instead of trying to do that really cheesy uh, teleport every time. 
We'll just keep looking for better ones. Let's go this way again. This one is still pretty good for digging. And it's always nice to just combine your damage and your digging ones. And then you've got more room for just other stuff that you want. Just follow the waterfall back down. There's probably going to be some invincible enemies down here now. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. There we go. Let's go grab this one. No, that's not. That's <laughs> not particularly useful. We'll uh, keep looking. I'm probably going to die in some stupid way dealing with this guy. It's usually how it goes. The rat can follow me around. I just realized something. I've shifted um, brass, silver, and copper into water. And I've shifted water into ambrosia. I presume this means that if I find the minigun, which constantly releases uh, brass when it fires, that will just cover me in ambrosia while I'm firing it. That seems like it's worth doing. Do I want the next lot of uh, perks and stuff? No, I'll keep looking around for spells for now. Got plenty of health. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. I do not like propane tanks. Also, let's refill our potion while we're here. <laughs> here we go. Not too bad. Oh, <laughs> there's a really big pool down there. Let's just do it there. There we go. No, <laughs> follow me, rat. Right, let's go up here. Oh, hello. Ah, yes, the uh, rock crystals. Well, you guys are in for a bit of a rude awakening. Oh, now I'm just covered in blood. Stain just wears off very quickly when you're, uh, when you're moving. That's fine. The reduced spread is doing a lot of work on this, actually. There was a speed up as well. I should I should go back and grab that. Actually, ow. <laughs> okay. I should go back and grab the speed up because that's going to help this wand as well. Plum. Oh, whoops. Well, that's not very convenient. Worst thing about Flum is that you get stained and then it wears off, so it keeps alternating whether your controls are reversed or not. It's so annoying. Wow, look at the stats on this one. Ah, plasma beam. I think that's the plasma that we actually want. It's a longer beam. So we'll use this uh, to kill all the bosses. Okay, that's not gonna work. No, stop. Okay, let's just leave you. Goodbye. Yeah, we'll go grab speed up again. I'll make sure not to cast the uh, 
plasma instead of the teleport because that would not go very well. I'm probably being a little bit overly cautious considering the whole map is just swimming in ambrosia, literally. Right, let's actually test this here. Please melt this uh, rock creature for me. No, that's not going to very well. What if I do this? There we go. I like plasma. The question is, does the plasma like me? Ow. That guy got like a proper shot in. Ambrosia time. I don't think I can reasonably uh, outrange the sniper. weird enemy for this area. Hmm. Okay. Got you. I'm not actually embroidered up. Let's do that. Thing. Anything actually in here? Doesn't look like it. There's a worm. Oh, there's the Uko from earlier. That's definitely Ambrosia up here. Yep, that is a thing you can do. I do not like these guys. Yeah, return to your wormhole. Now, this is a wand. We got critical plus and we got hexa formation. That stuff is going to be useful if we can we can go put it on a wand. Let's actually go back and do that. Oh, hello. I should be able to tunnel through this like this. No, that's not actually going through then. I'll just go up here. got electric charge we got rock <laughs> we don't have unlimited spells I don't think we're going to find anytime soon so I'm not super interested in that go this way the worm must have just come from over here more electric charge we haven't actually been over here have we no. Let's be a little bit careful then. There we go, not bad. Some interesting stuff in there. Let's go back to the shop. There is going to be a little bit of me just wandering around and taking stuff. We need a decent trigger spell again. Uh, I don't believe we need these. I don't think we need these. Crit is pretty good. I should just put the crit on here. We're firing a lot of projectiles, so hopefully that results in a lot of the uh, crit chance. The stats on this wand are actually just straight up better than the other one, so let's just swap it over. Let's take the plasma beam and put it in there for now. Teleport, I'll put here. I think what I want to do with this is I want to go find the pyramid boss and uh, get Nola, hopefully, so that this is more useful. Yeah. 
And while I'm here, I might as well just very quickly grab triple spell. So, let's see. Let's cost a little bit of mana. If I put this here, then I could put another uh, modifier in here later. That's probably worth doing. I'll take the doubles, we'll put them up here. Downwards Bolt Bundle. So these bolts are very powerful. They're really, it's sort of like carpet bombs the enemy. Like when your projectile explodes, it releases them downwards. It can be very strong, but I, I definitely killed myself a few times with it. Um, do you have any ad manners? We're not going to use Poison Arc. That's just too da dangerous for us. Let's go. Yeah, considering we've got Ambrosia, I think I'm just going to make my way over to Pyramid Boss. We could probably even go in the uh, the fungal the fungal sort of zone by the pyramid, and maybe uh, maybe grab a water related spell there. Because it would be nice to not have to just douse myself in a potion every now and then. Okay, we're already here. Cool. Nope. That was, that was the. Uh, Wrong thing. Go up here. Actually, can I dig through this with the plasma? Oh, I haven't got it equipped. Oh, whatever. Let's go up here. We'll just go up and out the usual way. I'm not even going to teleport across here because I don't want to accidentally teleport into lava. <laughs> I could I could probably use blood instead of water to cover that eventually. But I don't think we're going to be back and forth over it too much. Whoa, what's with the, the lag? Hmm. And we're here. <sighs> we want the uh, orb from the pyramid anyways. Let's go. <laughs> the fish rules swimming around the ambrosia. That's absolutely fine. There you go, fishies. Enjoy the music. I should get a speak. I should get a little speaker for the uh, uh, IRL tank, just so they can listen to some music. I feel like I feel like there's been studies done on fish listening to music, helping them de-stress, but I don't think I've read any in a while. My fish have been alright recently, you can just see them uh, <laughs> to the left of me. I can't get through this with the shotgun, can I? Yeah, there we go. That'll do. We have loads of ambrosia. I'm probably not actually going to need the fungus pouch. I'm going to leave the fungus pouch here, just so I remember where it is. Because the next shift just undoes the previous shift. So... Probably not going to need it. Let's grab the uh, orb. Leave that there. There we go. So now we're in the pyramid. And there is a mini boss here. There are some other enemies here that can occasionally be annoying. Why is there random lava? Hmm. 
That doesn't fill me with confidence. Random lava dripping down from above. What is going on? That also doesn't fill me with confidence. I can't actually squeeze through. Am I going to have to literally teleport myself in here? Oh, God. Now, why? Why is there just random lava? Oh, and an arrow trap. I completely built that. Right, I think we're going to have to... What we should do... It's just spread ambrosia around a few places. This guy can eat the terrain, so I do need to be a little bit careful. Just make some uh, pockets ambrosia. This isn't actually staining me. Okay, it is. Hopefully this will be enough. Pyramid boss isn't too bad. Uh, hold on. Get away from me. Alright, okay. Get these guys. Oh wow, these guys are more health than I thought they uh, did. Get away. Maybe I uh, challenged this guy a bit too early. This is not doing enough damage. What are you doing here? Oh no. Ow. Okay, that did a lot of... Ow. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I have made a mistake. I'm going to die with the pyramid boss. I feel like your projectiles are faster than they used to be. I need to set myself on fire. Oh, there's lava here. Right, die. Please die. You are not taking a lot of damage from that, are you? Okay, let's <laughs> abandon abandon that. <laughs> Maybe there's uh... a... <laughs> that was not the best plan. I don't know why I thought this would do enough damage. Uh, so he's probably just going to keep wandering around up here. Thing is, eventually he's going to tunnel his way out of the pyramid and just, uh, just be annoying. Oh, I'm annoyed. I don't think there's anything I can do. I came here unprepared. Okay. Let's just leave him. I thought that would have done more damage to him. He'll be here if uh, we want to come back, I think. I don't think he's going to move around too much... Um, Without us being there. You've got loads of gold. Let's just go to the next shop and heal up. I was just hoping to find a, the Nola spell so I can make this teleport a bit less crappy. But I think we I think we just need to go to the the Heasy zone. Actually, let's refill this. I don't... Th Actually, let me just check. Has Pyramid Boss ever killed me? There he is. No. He's never killed me. <laughs> so, uh, hopefully he never does. We don't have light to really do the dark cave as well. If we found a source of light, we could do that and heal. I think I'm just going to cross the lava lake and uh, pull down the shaft. Seems like that actually seems like the safest way to go.
We did drink a lot of the uh, acceleration potion as well. I don't think I've actually walked along here, so hopefully we don't find too many enemies. We'll tunnel through and we can cover ourselves in ambrosia, so we should be okay. Oh. <laughs> uh, hello, sir. Oh my god. Get me out of here. <laughs> hmm. This one does not do as much damage as I thought it would. Where are you? There you are. Okay, this is doing damage. There we go. But there's not another one. I'm annoyed. I did all that setup. I'm probably going to die to something very stupid. Let me, let me in. That's not going to get anywhere soon, is it? Just do this. There's another wand. How deep does this bit go? Aha! Nice. What a decent amount of max health. Unfortunately, it's not going to help me if I'm dead. Right. Uh. Fungus, I don't think it's super useful. Uh, concentrated light is potentially useful, but not at the moment. We're almost there. Alright, let's just go in here. Right, there's some good stuff in here. So I think I do just do what I did before and I just fight him normally here. This guy wasn't actually too much trouble. Oh, I could turn him into a duck. Hold on, let's just do that. Oh, let's project our transmutation field. Oh, that's not very good. Just fill this area with that brazier and just shoot him normally. It should do. This one does get through his shield. It's gonna cheese him very uh, slowly while standing perfectly still. There we go. I think it turns my shots into ducks as well, doesn't it? And then we're just going to be flinging ducks at each other. I don't know what good that does. Are they ex are they the exploding ducks or the regular ducks? So we got Gamble here. We got Repelling Cape. Let's see what Gamble does. We we'll use the seed tool and have a look. So Gamble is more hatred and exploding corpses. So that is explosion immunity. That sounds good. We'll take that. Explosion immunity. So liquid detonation seems very good then. Uh, we'll also want the bubble spark. We'll keep this, but there's probably a use for this. I think we keep downwards bundle. Let's see. Yeah, so let me, let me buy this. Let 
Then I'd probably put it on this one. Then it's a trigger and it has a plasma beam on it. <sighs> so we can use that to beat the bridge boss. I think. We've even got plasma beam wide enough. Let's try that. I, I, I don't think I've ever used this. Let's see what this does. Oh, that makes it really long. What if I use the plasma cutter instead? It seems to do the same damage, it's just... Ooh. Yeah, maybe. Could stick two of them on like that. Yeah, that's a lot of plasma damage. Okay, that seems like a pretty good plasma one. And then we can probably just stick the deuce recharges on here as well. Although that's obviously going to run out of mana very quickly. Maybe we... Yeah, that's probably fun. Anything else I want to do with this? I, I, I should use this for my damage wand, really, because I've got the Hexacast, and I'm going to find projectiles to put in there. That would be good. We've got another red glimmer here. Let's grab that. That will help reduce the cast delay on this. Is that what I want? Yeah. Not like this. It's pretty good. That runs out of mana very quickly. By this one instead. Not sure. Right, I think I think this is okay. Let's go let's go find the eye room. We should be able to use this plasma one to cut out of here. Yes, of anger of the gods, I am aware. Probably a kind of specific angle I need to do this at. Yeah, that'll do. Right, let's... Now that we're immune to explosions... Oh, that's the other thing, we're immune to explosions. So lightning bolt becomes a lot better. Could just stick lightning bolt in here. Just have that as an option. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. Let's try and find the... Uh... Oh, hold on. There we go, there's the Ambrosia. Uh, hold on. <laughs> There's too many enemies. I didn't refill my Ambrosia, I should have refilled my Ambrosia. Let's go back and do that. It's doing a decent amount of damage. God, I've already lost all <laughs> that health. I didn't even notice that. That's not good. This is certainly a bit slower than the last run. 
We still need to find something that actually produces water. Lava. Yeah, wait for me to empty this. Oh, that's a turret. But we can... There we go. I don't know which side the uh, I room's on. Oh. There we go. So look at this one. Uh, chain spell. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I want that. Through here, please. There's a lot of snow. Oh. <laughs> propane tank. I don't like propane tanks. go. Should be able to grab that pretty safely. There we go. I think Reed is coming in very handy because we're just buying a lot of stuff. Hmm. That does not seem very helpful. Not kill ourselves with plasma. Let's kill ourselves with plasma. That's fine. Yeah, you can just go down there. What's this bit up here? I think I've seen this metal block. Is it just normal level stuff or Oh it's the lava it's a lava place. Okay. Oh you got a wand. Put the wand away, sir. Uh piercing shot. Okay. Interesting. Got another trigger on that as well. Not a very good wand. Just uh cut ourselves out. Yeah, it'd be kind of nice to put myself out. Thank you. Let's go this way. Or that way. It's kind of uh, janky digging, but whatever. At least we're actually able to handle this zone. Because this is usually the zone where if it's really obvious uh, that I'm not well equipped enough, I just die. But the Ambrosia is probably helping a lot with that. Okay, die please. I think exploding corpses is pretty handy with that. Got one. Ooh, this looks. Uh, that's pretty good. There's a lot of capacity. There's a lot of plasma cutters. Hmm. Yeah, I think we take that. We can definitely do something with that. Maybe we hexacast the plasma cutters with the enhancer. That sounds fun. Want to take the levitation potion? I'm gonna I'm gonna save and restart in a minute as well because I know the game crashes sometimes around all these plasma um, all, around all these uh, propane tanks.
we go. Uh, so we're over here. Hopefully the eye room is over here, because what if I need eye room? Let's have a look. Yeah, here it is. Sometimes it's on the left, sometimes it's on the right. We got some spells. We got a chunk of soil. That seems pretty good. Don't soil yourself. Wait. Oh, that doesn't affect. Um, I thought that affected recharge time or something. <laughs> it just produces soil. Okay. Whatever. And then I think we can just dig up here. Actually, let's refill. Let's refill the ambrosia. We'll dig up here. Should be able to go up here slowly. I should go back for that energy or one, really. This is kind of rubbish. I feel like the odds of breaking the uh, hourglass are quite high as well with that one. We're okay. Well, let's pour in the teleportation and see where we go. See, or see what we get, rather. And did I leave any slots open? I did. I didn't intend to, but uh, we, uh, we were okay. Let's have a look. Mushrooms. <laughs> okay, so we got plasma beam orbit. That seems interesting. We're doing a lot with plasma today. Uh, boomerang, uh, we'll probably find a use for light shot, piercing, projectile weakness. Wow. That's a pretty good haul. We could definitely do something with this. Right. I think we have enough uh, stuff to deal with the alchemist now. Maybe the bridge boss. Let's go back and build something on this one. Hopefully not die on the way back. Yeah, there we go. This one is going to have so many plasma beams on it, it's going to be uh, ridiculous. Oh, hello. You weren't much of a threat. That should do. Probably plasma would be my way up there pretty easily if I was determined. <laughs> I like all the molten metal just resting on the lava. It's not something you see very often. Okay, so let's see. What's this one going to look like? So, bubble, spark, into plasma beam enhancer. Let's see, this is 530 mana. These cost 40 each. We're going to use a hex cast with plasma beam orbit. We're probably going to want a longer trigger than this. This, uh, this could kill us, maybe. Hmm. Then is there anything else I want? I probably just put light shot on the bubble spark so it moves faster. Because we really don't want it to go off anywhere near us. So if I do that... <laughs> I'll embroach myself up and then we'll cast it and we'll see what happens. Uh, so let's just make a big pool of it here. And then... We'll fire it here. <laughs> yeah, that, does a, that has a lot of... Uh, that's right, what about this? Hmm. 
Yeah, that's a decent amount of plasma. So I think that will be enough to kill the bridge boss. Although we need to actually tunnel out of here now. Uh, so... I guess we're going up here very slowly. It's digging somewhat well. This is this is uh, not the best digging method I've ever come up with, but it's certainly something. I like the light shot on it because we really are just able to point it where we want it to go. Yeah, this should be fairly safe now. Yes, that probably would kill the pyramid boss. So, the thing about the pyramid boss, does the plasma go through his shell? Or does it have to wait for an opening? Because I can wait for an opening, but... I'm not sure if there is actually a way of opening him up. No, it hits an opening unless it's homing. Fair enough. Right, let's keep going up here. This feels like a this feels like a, a, a giga black hole that you'd find at home. Mum, do we have giga black hole? No, we we have giga black hole at home. As far as I can tell, this should be able to kill the bridge boss. So we could go and kill the bridge boss as well. That would probably be a better use of my time in this. But we'll definitely save it and quit and restart before we do that. Because the bridge boss will drop a really good wand. Let me, uh, here. We actually getting through we are <laughs> that poor guy is about to get a rude awakening or i am i've got to make sure there's not even like a stray pixel in front of me otherwise it's going to kill me yeah there we go <laughs> got him oh hold on well we've tunneled through let's just uh, edit our ones a little bit before we go through don't think I need the actual... Uh, let's keep the actual plasma beam. We don't need the bubble spark. I could put a reduced recharge on here. This takes a lot of mana, so I probably don't want to do that. Yeah, I think we're... Uh, I think we're okay. Let me get rid of the heavy spread. Actually, I'm going to get rid of the chunk of soil. I don't think I need this. Then we'll just put that there. I think we're okay. Uh, game? Are you serious? <laughs> game? <laughs> Why did you just spawn a chunk on me? You should find water trail. Yes, that's what I did last time I shifted, uh... Last time I shifted water to Ambrosia. That would make it safer. However, I'm not 100% sure where we're going to find that. I haven't found any water-related spells yet. And I'm aware that I've already done a lot of waiting around, so... I'm not... Hello. Smells like gas. Acceleration. Let's see. Actually, hold on. Hold on a second. Get rid of this. Let's make some hastium. Seems worthwhile. Is there like a place we can do this safely? Or where it's going to actually mix properly? 
Not in here. Ye old invincible rats. Bye. These are all just full of ambrosia, somewhat predictably. Oh, hello. Well, this will definitely, yeah, this will kill the pyramid boss now. So we can head back over there. And we can actually deal with them. Oh, I've been neutralized. Hmm. This will kill the pyramid boss with all this plasma. So we could go back over there now. Still neutralized. There you go. Back. You can taste my wrath. I don't want to kill regular enemies with that one because it deletes the gold. Oh, hello. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Water trail can be found basically anywhere. It can, I just haven't been lucky. We killed the chasm boss. No, that was what I was thinking of doing, because this plasma is mainly... I know the plasma is a really good way of killing the chasm boss. We're just making our way over there now. Well, we were. Let's just go... Over here. If, if the teleport bolt hits a wall, it's fine. So we'll just do that. I'm just aware I left a lot of enemies hanging around. So I don't want to just zip through here. Freeze field, that's not really what I need. Okay. Right, we're here. I think we could probably kill the chasm boss with this, or we should at the very least try. And after that, I could go grab the orb in this area too, because we can cut through the dense rock with this, I believe. Let's test that. Yeah, that'll dig through the rock. So we've already collected the orb from up here. So, I mean, just in the orb room. So, we'll need to be careful going across the gap. Uh, buh, buh, buh. Careful. We have some invisibilium. Oh, let's make the hastium here. Yeah, this makes sense. The music would have triggered if he was alive, so that should be fine. So levitadium goes there. Acceleration goes there. And this will all mix into hastium. Let's we'll just empty this out and collect up the hastium. some more levitadium in there. This is very scientific. Yeah. 
Yeah, there we go. That's that's mostly full of haste, you. There's a Visibilium here. And then there's Ambrosia. So I'm going to save it. And we're going to restart quickly, just to make sure that the game is stable. <laughs> and uh, then we'll uh, try killing the Chasm Boss with this Plasma Wand. I have not killed the uh, Chasm Boss a lot, so I feel like there's a pretty good chance that we're going to die. I also need to turn off the setting for the uh, Cloud Save. Because this is this is the uh, daily run, so it's not gonna. I don't think it'll let me redo it. Okay, that is still ambrosia. It just looks like water now. Let's dump all the ambrosia up here. That was flumming this, really. That's not going to be very handy. Okay, let's just let's just stop putting it off. Let's just try it. Oh, there's Ambrosia here too. Okay. Just go for it. Okay. That seems to be doing some damage. Uh, okay. Please uh, kill yourself. Hello? Where are you? There you are. Not seeing him kill himself. There's a lot of bubble sparks being shot. Oh, the music's ended. Okay. Is he dead? No. It's up there. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure if this is actually damaging him or not. He, uh, he appears to have gotten lost. Let's, uh, let's just drink some of the haste, yeah. Hello? Oh. There you are. You just... Is... Oh, there you are. Ow. Okay. Did that damage him? Taking a lot of damage. Why do you have to fly all the way up here? Okay, you're still there. I'm not sure if this is actually damaging him or not. You're just being very annoying. <laughs> Can I convince you to come back down here? I don't know if I'm killing you or not. <laughs> I don't think I am. You do a bit too much damage for me to, for me to really be, uh trying this like this, but whatever. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, this is the same run. We're trying to kill the chasm boss. I have a plasma beam one that I thought would be uh, killing him, but he just retreated to the surface like some kind of coward. And I don't know where he is, but he just keeps firing projectiles. It's not very convenient. <laughs> Look, I'm just gonna go up here. Oh, we are killing him. 
Ow! He's killing me. Okay. <laughs> well, he's almost dead, but so are we. So we've got a bit of work. Hopefully he just comes back down here. I could go to the dark cave. Thing is, I'm never sure when he's going to pop out and fire a projectile. I guess I'll just drink some more of this and we'll go explore. Hello? Very scary because I'm just shooting him off screen. Guess where he is. Okay, this is a big pool of ambrosia. I could just shoot him safely from here. Then hopefully he'll just drop a load of loot. God, his projectiles are really just decimating the uh, lake though. <laughs> Come on, cooperate. Why does he get to shoot you from so far away? Okay, let's refill this. He's almost dead, so let's just keep going. Drink these. And then... Wasn't quite what I needed. This is so annoying. And that's night time too. Is he dead? No. He's here! Okay. That got him. Yeah, that got him. Okay. He's dead and the ones are all the way up there. So we've got uh, the Manasad, Meteorasad. It's Phil Ambrosia and Leroy Jenkins. I was trying, but he was staying so far away. Like, uh, I couldn't stay up there with him, but he's dead now. He dropped his spells, but I'm mostly just interested in the wand, which will be up here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Uh, okay, so this is not... Great. Hopefully the other one is a bit better. Actually, that's... Uh... There we go. Oh, come on. Uh, <laughs> that's not really much better either. This did not turn out to be very good loot. Hmm. Well, that's kind of sad. We actually killed the chasm boss and he didn't drop anything worth taking. I guess the, the other wand. I guess we'll take the other wand. And then we'll go grab the Matasad as well. Like, the stats aren't great, but it is multicast. Yeah, we'll, we'll take Massasad. We need to drop another spell, though. But that's fine, because now we can just go through here. We'll go kill the... Uh, and then we can go kill the Alchemist, and then we'll have Matasad digging. So, that will work. I need to free up a spell. Ugh, which means I need to go all the way to the... Snowy chasm again. I'm really sad that I had to break the uh, the first holy mountain. Oh well, we'll be fine. I think I'm just gonna at this point I'm just gonna fill all the potions with uh, ambrosia. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hello. It's annoying that it's taking this long to do this, but that's fine. Hello? Actually, he just blasted his way out of there, so we should we should have just fallen down the way he came. I kind of forgot about that bit. But at least we can safely go in here. Because we've already cleared this bit. Of Ukos. Right, let's get rid of, uh, I don't know, Magic Missile. We don't need that. I don't think we need Meteor Asad. So we just go up here. Back through here. We do have giant Magic Missiles now. I still just want light so I can go through the dark cave. I feel like there's a surprising amount of stuff that I haven't found. Oh, hello. Reminds me that I still haven't cleared a thorough way through this. Worm blood. I could just eat the worm blood. If I'm careful. Which worm blood is there? Probably worth doing. Okay, let's actually get our levitation back. Sorry, this is probably the, sl the slowest noise to run in history. I'm. I'm not exactly a pro. I would consider myself to be an intermediate loiter player. Did you break the egg on the tree yet? No. No, I did not. So there's more worm blood in there too. Yeah, we probably could have done that. Okay. Let's try and get back now. Safely. We should be able to Go there and back in six minutes. I could probably also dig in the side and get the orb too. In fact, let's do that now. Actually, this feels a bit dangerous. He should be able to teleport in here. There we go. Let's go back this way. Yeah, no drowning is pretty nice. Go collect all this again. Right, you made a hole. You made a hole that I need to go through. Then the actual spells are here. So there's Mathisard. So now we just need to go heal up and then we'll go kill the alchemist with this plasma one because this should do the trick. Yeah, I won't drown. It's just going to be annoying to see, but I mean, at this point, we'll just we'll just do it. What's this? Get this shit out of here. Uh, let's see. I can dig through this. I could probably plasma through it. Is 
is relatively safe. This is my favorite digging one. <laughs> it's so ridiculously dangerous. But this seems to be the one saved to uh, use it. Okay, I'm okay. All right, we're good. Let's go. <laughs> Want the uh, extra health first, so this one. Uh, hello? There we go. We just need to be able to see. Oh, we're gonna go up here, really? That's annoying. You know what? Die. That would have. There we go. <laughs> that was uh, that was sufficient death. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go up and over, rather than go through the the main zone this time, because that was annoying last time. Well, maybe, maybe we don't. I don't know. Oh, that's going to be annoying. Wait. Oh, this is producing water because normally it produces um, brass or something or copper. Either way, that's not going to be very useful. Hmm. Well, I mean, that deletes it. No, I'm just going to go up and over. This is going to take too long otherwise. Think. Yeah, because we shifted metal into water, and then we shifted water into ambrosia. So I think it's actually ambrosia, but it looks like water. I keep going up here. Again, we'll keep ambrosiaing ourselves. And then we'll get up here. Hello. Uh, interesting. Yeah, we'll just go up and over. Uh, looks like the eggs have cracked. But there's probably acid guys. You did that with polymorphine <laughs> and water once. Very interesting. Uh, yeah, interesting seems like a word for it. So here's my achievement pillars. I've done quite a few. Um, but there's obviously a lot left to uh, get as well. Music. Uh, you know what? I'll take the evil eye. Just in case. So we should find a dip where the alchemist actually lies. Maybe a bit further than that. Yeah, this seems about right. We've lost the wormy vision now. This seems too far. We'll tunnel in here. You shifted water to poly and shifted three more times to shift poly back into water somehow, but it kept the texture. Oh, that must have been very annoying. Right, well, we can dig through the sand, the, the, the snow like this. When the snow melts, it produces ambrosia as well, which is nice. So this should skip us most of the way. Obviously the issue being that we don't want to drop right, right on top of the uh, boss. So 
just taking a little longer than expected. Okay. Here's the roof. I don't want to just jump straight on top of the boss because that would be rude. Could probably open up a little bit here though. We can pour a little bit of ambrosia in here. And then goodness. Okay. Yeah, there's the orb room part. Oh yeah, there's a pool down there. Yeah, that is very true. Well. Oh, we're on the we're on the other side. Okay. Yeah, we can just do this. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that really that killed him very uh, efficiently. Okay. I was worrying a bit too much about that one. I'm not, I'm not that familiar with killing these bosses. Right, so we have Mew. Uh, oh, hold on. No, let me grab the gold. No, it's too busy talking. Oh, well, we've got enough gold. Right, let's see. Again, I left, uh, I left the spells. <laughs> I, I, need to, I need to make some space. But we got, yeah, I think we got all the good ones. Okay, let's go, let's go back and drop some spells and come back here. Oh my god, you're kidding me. Why did I just make room before coming here? I guess I didn't think I'd get this far. Okay, let's go around. So we're very close to having Matasar digging. An ambrosia, and then I think the one thing we really need is um, some kind of water spell to cast on us. I wish we had a better teleport wand. We could kill the pyramid boss. Maybe we should do that while we're here. Although we we need to free up space to grab Nola too. Let's just free up a load of space. Uh, kill the pyramid boss, come back. The fish are just very confused. They're just like, why did you make such a mess? Uh, this isn't the right way. Thankfully the spells don't despawn. That would be very sad if they did. Yeah, that that those uh, plasma things just clapped him hard. Right, we're very nearly there. Infinite worm digging. I know what I'm going to call this one on YouTube. Uh, I just really haven't died. So. We need to make some space. So what do we get rid of? Probably just all these doubles. We'll leave them all here and we'll come back anyways. We want at least five spots. I don't think I need another plasma cutter. I don't think I need another plasma beam. I don't think I need ducks. I should make enough space. All this stuff. I'm going to take Meteorosad as well because I feel like with Ambrosia we can probably actually do something with it. And in fact, let's make a little bit more room. I'm going to put Digging Bolt in here as well. Yeah. And then I just have... Oh, okay, that's not going to work. But that's fine. We've got enough space now. I just need to get through this area again. This area is very annoying.
It's still feeling very slow and cumbersome, but I think we're slowly getting the tools together for what we need to do. It was definitely easier on the other seed that we did last time. Even without the uh, fungal shifting. I don't think we want any of that stuff. Yeah, let's go deal with Pyramid Boss first. Actually, we'll grab we'll grab uh, Meteorosad as well, and then we'll uh, then we'll go beat Pyramid Boss. Actually, I'm gonna shut my blind very quickly. <laughs> I also just realized I've left the coffee here for like uh, two hours and I haven't drunk it. Good thing I like uh, cold coffee. Alright, let's go. The lack of levitation is real. But we, we just need Nola. We just need to spell Nola to get this teleport wand to work somewhat decently. And I'm pretty sure this guy always spawns Nola. I think the other spells are random, but I think he always spawns Nola. Yeah, I'm enjoying mixing it up with a bit more Noita content, because I usually play Oxygen Not Included, and that is fun, but it does require a certain amount of... certain brain process to work, and I did not really feel I had that process today. So it's nice to have something to fall back on, like this, where I somewhat know what I'm doing, but I'm also quite likely to die in a very stupid way. I hope the boss is still here. He is still here. The music is still playing. Uh, you know what? We have the tools, we have the technology. Let's just cut this open. Right. Let's go find him. We're back for round two. Where are you? Hello? Yeah, this is the daily run. I I think he has uh, disappeared. I can hear music. I think he may have wandered off. <laughs> um, I don't know how he escaped. But uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah. So for the shifts, uh, I will show you the website. You put the seed in. And the seed for today is 3124942.69. You can put that into the, this website and it will tell you what shifts to do. But there were three shifts and you didn't need to do all of them. You only need to do, to do one of them. But uh, I'm sad. I think the pyramid boss has wandered off. I might go, I might try and go looking for him, but I don't. Uh, have much confidence in that. Maybe he's up here. You can hear the music. There he is. This is very sketchy. Okay. I think that got him. Yeah, yeah, that got him. <laughs> he, uh, he wandered around. There it is. There's the spell we want, Nolo. <laughs> so if he's not in the pyramid, he's probably floating around to the left of it uh, because his AI is kind of wonky and the devs never bothered fixing his AI. They just decided to put him in a pyramid instead so he wouldn't just keep wandering to the left. Which is hilarious. There are also some ones up here, so I want to have a look, see if I can find those. 
Oh, there's his corpse. Can I sell this corpse? Excellent. Random damage. Want that. No, I, I didn't really want that. Ah, oh, we're going to have to go drop that off now. Bollocks. <laughs> most, uh, most convenient uh, wand location. Feels like there's something solid to stand on. Yeah, this isn't a very good wand. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> we got the heart, we got the spell we want. Uh, I guess I have to go drop off the other spell I picked up because we want to pick up all four of those Greek letters, I think. That's good. We got our revenge on the pyramid boss. But yeah, I usually stream uh, Mondays to Fridays at 7 to 11 GMT, uh, but I had some free time today, um, and I <laughs> did not have some free time last Friday, so I've streamed today instead. And if you follow, you'll uh, get a notification whenever I go live. Sometimes I'm playing Noita, usually I'm playing Oxygen Not Included. Um, there are other games that I want to play, Stellaris, Dice Sphere Program. Mostly a lot of base building games, but I do I do enjoy the good roguelike. But I, I will probably play Noita if I'm playing roguelike. Yeah, let's go here. Right. We don't want random static projectile. That's just going to get us killed. Uh, so let's put... Instead of this... Let's put Nola on the teleport bolt. So that reduces cast delay. Uh, hold on. Just give me a second. Okay. Uh, I'm going to be back in a second. Um, I may need to wrap up a little bit early, uh, but just give me a second. Alrighty, so uh, um, it turns out the IRL business that I um, suspected I was going to have today is happening, so I'm going to have to go, unfortunately. Um, but we, we we beat a few bosses. We beat the pyramid boss. We beat the uh, the chasm boss. <laughs> we chased them around a bit. But I'm going to continue this run tomorrow. Uh, so feel free to follow if you want to see <laughs> the uh, end of this run. Uh, we can join a Discord. Um, where I'll post notifications about what I'm doing as well. And you can find uh, chat rooms where we talk about all the games I play. And uh, I also have a YouTube channel where I upload VODs, because the VODs get deleted on uh, on uh, Twitch super quickly. So there you go. But thanks for hanging out. It's been fun. Um, it's a little bit sad. I need to wrap it up a little bit early, but I will be back tomorrow. So uh, yeah, have a good time, and I'll uh, see you later. Bye for now.